It's sometimes hard to put it into words. You get something a little bit different from Mother Nature every day here. It makes you sort of feel humble, like when you're here in these really cold conditions, it serves as a constant reminder that you're pretty subject to what nature wants. Priceless in terms of uh, experience that people gain. We work with uh, partnership organizations, NGOs, um, because they can help us to evolve new and better ways of working on current and emerging themes uh, in society and in nature. The partners that we have signed collaborative agreements with are IUCN, with the World Conservation Union, Wetlands International, also a global organization, uh, the Nature Conservancy, very strong in America, and last but not least, Earthwatch. Earthwatch seeks to engage all sectors of society in environmental research around the world. That's, that's why we exist. We strongly believe that we need to engage with, with businesses at every level to try and deliver the internal changes that, that need to take place to work towards a more sustainable business and a more sustainable society. The Shell Project Battle World started uh, between a bunch of like-minded Shell individuals uh, in the late 90s. And they decided to uh, create a volunteering uh, organisation within Shell. They saw a gap within Shell for that. And since then, uh, we've gone from strength to strength. We actually give opportunity to staff to participate in uh, research opportunities in various places around the world so that people can bring back those experiences into the organisation to produce more sustainable outcomes in the work and the projects that they're doing inside the company. And we believe that that is a very virtuous thing to, to maintain. Churchill is a really special place and it's sometimes hard to put it into words. I mean, uh, you get something a little bit different from, you know, Mother Nature every day here, uh, weather-wise or even wildlife-wise. It's an area of real dynamism in terms of response to changing environmental conditions. So if things change, this is where we expect them to be registered first. This is the area that's most sensitive uh, to those changes. I wanted to understand climate change from a really like grassroots point of view. Uh, for Shell, of course, what's really relevant is, uh, is the, the climate change uh, subject. And um, that basically triggered me to learn more about climate change. And that's why I signed up for the Earthwatch program. People that aren't from a scientific background or science uh, training come and get a lot of insights as to what the limitations are. There's no way that I would be able to collect the amount of data in the short period of time that I can with a whole team of dedicated research volunteers. So these folks come along at uh, targeted times when we can go out and sample intensely a particular part of the environment that we're interested in. This is uh, the tundra site. We're working on the vegetation between the trees, which is dominantly a tundra system. We are uh, establishing, helping to establish a baseline uh, which is required to, uh, to quantify the impacts of uh, climate change in, in the Arctic. Right now we are doing the coring, uh, so I'm going to take the samples. The snow sampling involves several techniques uh, that we are looking at all the different snowpack characteristics. So it can be a few hours out in the field in the cold to collect the snow samples. There is also quite a bit of lab work that's involved. Uh, we come back and melt snow samples that we've collected in the field to look at water quality, things like pH and conductivity. And then usually Pete's got a lecture at the end of the day after a nice dinner. It's hard work, so we get 10 days straight of kind of grueling hard work out of all of the Earthwatch volunteers. When you see how much work that, that goes into it, um, you know, it's, I think it's a, it's a good thing we are here and, and in order to sharpen the analysis and get more data. In the Mackenzie Mountains, I have a team that comes in that's almost exclusively Shell. Uh, if it weren't for support from Shell through Earthwatch, we wouldn't be doing that research. The highlight uh, of my experience on, on the project so far is, I guess, the passion of Dr. Peter Kershaw and his team. It's in a pretty harsh environment. So that, that passion that he puts in and his team is, I think, very, uh, very laudable. Yeah, I think the Earthwatch program is uh, a great way for Shell to uh, train their staff on uh, sustainable issues. Just that opportunity to come here 
experience the North, experience the Arctic, talk about climate change, work with scientists, gives them a chance to reflect on that. And to have those people then go back and be able to speak with their colleagues and with their, um, their families and their communities in an informed way and with passion and with conviction, it's just really powerful, that sort of ripple effect of spreading what they've learned. So over the last 10 years, we've had 450 Shell staff uh, seconded in supporting Earthwatch projects. And that's been a great contribution, I believe, for both uh, organizations. I think within Shell, we can leverage uh, that exposure of our staff even better by sharing the knowledge and the information and the experiences to a wider audience. So the value you bring back to Shell is first of all um, a broader mindset where you think about those uh, environmental and social impacts but also um, I think more in your skills and um, stakeholder engagement skills, your leadership skills and I thought that was very worthwhile. Uh, you do see an effect of, uh, of what we do here eh? where we produce energy but we also uh, put CO2 up in, the, up in the air. You can make a difference with every small bits you're doing in a project and for example putting some extra engineering hours in to find the optimum between insulation and tracing in oil pipelines that saves in the end cost for Shell uh, but also saves uh, uh, well makes it more sustainable. Participating in this Earthwatch program will help me have passion about sustainably developing projects and that passion I hope to take along um, as I progress in my career and hopefully uh, reach uh, a senior position in Shell. As Shell, we are looking to develop our projects sustainably. Um, it's absolutely critical to our uh, core business objectives these days. And part of that involves understanding local stakeholder demands and the sensitivity of local environments in which we hope to operate. Um, and I really see that as the core benefit of Project Better World. It's uh, creating awareness of sustainable development across Shell.